Our second preliminary bout of the evening, scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, his five-fight unbeaten streak dates all the way back to 2021. As a professional, 14 wins with three losses, seven of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, one inch tall, 1.86 meters, he weighed in at 169 and one half pounds, 76.9 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Varna, Bulgaria. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Theodore Ristov. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner a two-division champion who had a knockout of the year in 2019 with his tornado kick KO. His professional record, 17 wins with five losses. 11 of those wins have come by way of knockout. At five feet, 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, he weighed in at fight time at 169.3 pounds, 76.8 kilos, fighting tonight out of Romania, please welcome Edward the Blitz Gafanku. And the third man inside the glory ropes, your referee is Goran Simarina. Faisal, share gloves, fair play, don't punch after stop. Thank you, go back to corner. Judge, judge, judge. Here we go. Time. First Our second match of the prelim. Fight. White gloves for Gafenku. And the black gloves, Theodore Histov. Yeah, cannot wait to see how this, how this fight plays out. They are both power punches going for knockouts, nothing else. One of the interesting things you'll notice right away is the body type difference. So, Antonio, take us through. Oh. Christoph being the taller fighter, Gafenku being the short, power, stockier guy. Yeah, of course. Christoph have advantages from this uh, from distance and should keep the distance very high. One, two, push, kick, uh, kicks, just play around and walk and has the body type that has usually more conditioning. But you can see the power punches from Gafenku. He's just coming in wild with the wild hooks and everything. So doesn't need to, but he could be generate more power with this body type. Time. Oh, as he takes a Neutral body. takes a low blow. Neutral. A very clean one. Time. Neutral. It's the last thing you want to happen in the first round. Yeah, it was very clean low blow if I see correctly. And a lot of people who may have never been hit low okay. there. It takes a lot out of your gas tank sometimes. Oh. Turn up. That was Come right on. on the cup of the thing. Yeah, that was like he was aiming. <laughs> okay, I find gloves. that the low blows happen gloves. a lot, Antonio, when one pre fighter okay. is pressuring and the other one is moving backwards, no kicking. More. Okay. A lot of times Time. they end up slipping up like that. Fight. But hopefully it doesn't happen again. You can see that Christo wanna use the jab to call the to control the distance. Yep. And hit Gafenko. and move, like you yeah. said. Yeah, just hit and move and kick and move. But Gafenko just looking for a wild hook over his jet. Ooh, he almost had a knee coming in. Very nice knee. 22-year-old Kristoff is showing some good eyes and distance management. Yeah. You can see the talent in him. The hype was not for nothing. And he's starting to mix that front kick you were talking about, Antonio. Being that tall fighter, the front kick is one of your best but. weapons. I think also but. his best weapon is catch him when he's coming in with a knee to the face. Yep, I agree. Because when Gafenko comes in, he's like, he goes really low to, to get generate the power for that hook. And Gafenko only landing five strikes here. You can just see that's the distance management of Ristov. And the Bulgarian crowd is really cheering him on. The 22-year-old is a big rising star here. Yeah, really talented kid. He really talented. He's a two-time champion here in the big organization, Senshi here. And you can see the talent from him going from kick to knee to punch, moving, evading punches, good distance management. It's 
crazy talent. You'll even see him switching his stances sometimes momentarily to back up like that, throwing hooks as he's backing up. Now he's a southpaw with knees. Yeah, he's just now playing a game with Gafenko. Fight. The only thing is he needs to watch to not get hit with some crazy power shot because Gafenko is just going forward, throwing the crazy power shot and nothing else. One of the big things that you learn as you get older in the sport is you can't always throw with full power. So let's see if Kristoff can stay composed and continue to pick his way to a big Stop. victory or maybe get himself a nice knockout. Hey, go. Time. Right now, Kristoff is doing kickboxing and Gafenko is looking like he's doing only boxing. I don't, I don't know did he throw any kick or knee or anything, just wild hooks and punches. Yep. But you can see the power on them. Yep, he's nicknamed the Blitz. And they're showing his signature strike as the arm kick, but as Antonio saying, very heavily reliant on his boxing and his power shots. Former soccer player and swimmer, now kickboxer. Better sports. Yes, of course. We have Theodor Christoph fighting out of Varno, Bulgaria. Fighting style, heavy combinations, always looking for the knockout. Right now, it's a, what I'm most impressed with is his distance management, the way he's hitting and moving, selecting his shots. And he's doing it against an experienced, older fighter as well. Yeah, and doing it easy. That's the main thing. It's look natural to him, like he doesn't. That time, time. ready for second, second round. round. Fight! Here we go, round two. Great first round for the 22-year-old Teodor Christoff. A little bit more urgency here now from Gafenku. Gafenku just now going. And from I can no, see his coach told him that just the counter, the kids had countered everything immediately. And as you've seen, the judges, all five of them, giving Get it up. to Christoff. Yes, very clean Fight. round for Christoff. Look at all these stats. It's all Christoff as well. Landed, thrown, percentages. He's sharp. Look at him. He's Moving his feet, moving his head. He got a knockdown. The crowd's going wild for the youngster. It's crazy. I was just five, about to say that his six, distance management is seven, crazy. Eight, come. It looked like he was waiting Once, on the ropes and then caught Gafenko as he was coming in. Five. Let's see how he reacts. Does he go for the kill or does he go back to picking his shots? Oh, look at that combination. Hit body, hit into the knees. What a wild fighter is Theodore Hissop. I like this kid. And not only his distance manager, but head moving. He's just slipping everything that comes to him. Now he's trying to look for the uppercut as Gafenko comes in. Head up. You can see some boxing experience in him. Ooh. Fair play. Even that little front kick, and then he does a question mark Fight. kick right after it. Yeah, this kid can do all. Real talent, real talent. Stop. Man, the Walter Waits need to Stop. keep an eye on this stuff. He's making Fight. a great debut. He does everything well. He boxes, he found the knee. Look at this pressure. He still needs to keep his chin down. Gafenku's still dangerous. He's whipping. Now he takes an angle. He's going for the kill. The crowd's going nuts, Antonio. Oh. <laughs> crazy exchanges, crazy exchanges is the last minute Fight. of this round. That was the kick that made Gafenku go viral in 2019. And the amount of combination that Christo has is crazy. He's just throwing everything. Knees, kicks, question mark kicks, low kicks, changing, hooks. <laughs> Attacking the body, spinning back kicks. The list goes on of oh. what this kid can do. He just ate an overhand. He needs to be careful, but look at this going. Gafenku's out. He looks like he's wobbly on his feet. His eyes just rolled back, but he's still coming forward. I think his stuff might knock him out. Gafenku's just walking on wobbly legs. Gotcha. I think one knee here or one big head kick or something from his stuff in the fight might be done. Yeah, he so just need to concentrate on one big thing. Antonio, it's coming. Oh. Gafenku on wobbly legs. What an ending to that round for Teodor Hristov. Gafenku going back to his corner. Hristov went to the wrong corner. Yeah, it's 
It's crazy. Like I said, this is a fight to watch. What a fight. Antonio, a lot of highlights here. Let's talk about him. Yeah, it's, you can see here the head movement, the changing of the momentum, the changing of the cutting corners, everything from Crystal. He just does everything now. He's looking like a superior fighter in every sense. And till the end of the fight, Gafrenko was just ready to fall. I don't even know how he kept himself on his legs. Oh, he was bouncing. Every every shot here, you can see his eyes roll back, come back. He was probably knocked out on his feet two or three times. Look at Gafrenko's eyes. Yes, and he's eating the knees to the head like nothing. Yeah, I'd be surprised if Edward Gafrenko knows where he is right now. He's made a lot of shots. His eyes were rolling back. I think this round, Cristo will end Gafrenko is everything goes good. Yeah, I would be surprised if Gavenku can survive this round. We know how tough Gavenku is. And he take the onslaught from the 22-year-old. Time. Right Third now, round. Christomir has everything. Fight! Man, first fight for Christoph. He's already going to be on my list and one of my favorite fighters to watch. Jeez. Yeah, very talented kid. Cannot wait to see more of him in glory. They potentially have a new champion maybe here. And the best thing is, Antonio, we're Stop. 17 minutes away from the main no card. Point. I don't Fight. know. Are we going to have enough energy? We've got to control ourselves a little bit. Yeah, the fights are just getting better and better. From the crazy first fight to even crazy in second fight. And we are only in the prelims. Stop. This is, I think this is an important no round for time. Fight. Te Teodor Christoph to see how he can control himself, pick his shots. Ooh, backward shots. As Christoph lands eight as many strikes as Gafenku. And all in variety. We've seen boxes kicking, knee, low kicks, middle kicks, everything. This kid is great. Yeah, I'm really, very impressed. He really does everything. And for such a young age, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm really impressed here from her stuff. Just doing everything right here in his debut. And in his home. Even more special for him. Yeah, he cannot be more happy than this. The only thing he misses is a big knock knockout. Now that he's shown everything just to finish the fight. Fight! You know, we know Holland has a lot of great fighters, but Bulgaria has really wanted to step up and add a few more fighters to the roster. I know Robbie Timmers hasn't blinked once in this fight. Yeah, you can see the Bulgarian talent. And now knee, hand, hand, hooks, moving away. He's in southpaw too. That's how you know you're comfortable if you can get here in your glory debut and fight in both stances. Ooh. That's where the knee comes, Antonio. Once you swipe that leg out, you mix the knee up the middle. Oh, he Take destroyed the base him. Away. Yeah, he destroyed him. his legs, body, head. It's. It's, it's like looking an A-class A fighter against C-class fighter. Yeah, he's just playing with him. Ooh. He's just now trying things. He's got about 37 seconds here if he wants to try to find a knockout. Or yeah. he might be content here just staying safe, picking his shots. Because Kefenku's still whipping some big power shots. Yeah. And every time he opens, he just got, like, punished for that opening. Front kick up the middle for Christoph. As Gafenku looks for Stop a big overhand. Up. There is no end to the tricks of bag of this young kid. <laughs> he just does everything right, and I'm loving it. Stop. He and does have a tough welterweight division. Yeah. Yeah. Very talented, very exciting. This 22-year-old Bulgarian. Gets it done here in Bulgaria as the crowd goes nuts for him. Yeah, you cannot imagine a better debut than this. This is the best at his goal. The only better option if he finishes with the knockout. But even without the knockout, this was crazy impressive. Just the display of the skill of this kid. From kicks, sneeze, punches, moving, distance manager, everything. He did a spectacular performance and we'll get the official decision is next. And you can hear the home crowd cheering him. We welcome you back to the Glory 89 prelims here in Bulgaria. And 
we had a spectacular fight here as Christoph took on Gafenku. Yeah, this is truly spectacular. The Christoph, he just showed everything what he can do, from boxing to moving to, it's just crazy. The talent that he's got is in, impressive. Like, really, I cannot wait to see him back. I'm already a fan, and this is the first fight I see from him. And you can see how he mixes his strikes, too. But what's most impressive to me about this young fighter is his eyes. Even though his hands might be there, his distance management, the way he moves, mixes his strikes. Great talent, unorthodox. Can't wait to see more from Theodor Fistov. That third, that third round yeah. for Fistov, he laid off the gas pedal a little bit, but just showed how he can stay composed. Yeah, till the end of the round, he was just playing and trying things, flying knees, spinning kicks, going to body, head, throwing knees. Really, this is pure talent. Let's take a look at some of the stats. And look at it, it's all his stuff from the punches, the kicks, the knees, the totals. Look at Gafenku, 15 of 110, where Kristoff landed 110 of 211. That's insane. That's what distance management and good defense is. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. All five of our ringside judges see the bout and score the bout the same, 30-26. A unanimous decision for your winner, Tina Ristoff! Your winner by unanimous decision, Theodore Ristoff, with an impressive debut here in his hometown in Bulgaria. Just a great, young, talented fighter. Record is now 15 and three with seven KOs and a successful debut, the most important one in his career just happened.